Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for joining me and taking time out of your day to craft, create, and chit chat with me. Today I am showing you another version of the wire wrapped small jar. Uh, somebody had requested that I not do it with the little hole in the top here. So this is what I came up with. This is one version of it. I used a little jemmy bead wrap from the Dollar Tree for this one here. And I, I thought it came out really cute. It allows for hanging here and you still have use of the jar itself with the cork. And you can glue that in place when you're done filling it if you'd like. And then I have one that is empty so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And I am using the Crafters Square mini glass jars from the Dollar Tree. Let me grab one out here. And I'll show you the barcode. That is the barcode for those, and they measure 0 0.5, 0 0.05 fluid ounces. And then I'm using the Hildy and Joe wire that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It's copper wire, silver plated, 20 gauge. And this is the barcode for that from Joann's. So I'm using about 12 inches of wire, and it's very easy to do this. What you want to do is match up your ends on your wire here and create a little pinch down here at the end, just a little one, and that's going to create your wire to cross, which is what we want. So we're at that, and I'm going to head it, go ahead and use my, uh, I think it's a rounded um, bail pliers here. And I'm going to get them up as close as I can to that and then just twist. Now if you don't have these, you can use your just um, needle nose pliers just by sticking them in there and then twisting as well. But I'm just going to use my fingers and you're just going to twist it a little just to create that little shank right here for your jar. So you can see that you're just going to twist a couple of times, then take your jar and remove the cork. Now this part it may be confusing to some, but it will work out in the end. You want to take your jar and you want to hold your bale right here that we just created against the jar upside down. This will work out. Hold that with your thumb. Now you have your two wires here. You're going to go around your jar with one of them, pulling tightly, and you're going to go under that lip of that jar right there, pull tight again, so you're going around twice, then you're going to do the same thing with the other side, go around that lip of the jar twice, so you have it look like horns. turn your jar around and that's what it's going to look like. Now you have these extras. You can create shapes with these if you like. Simply by grabbing the ends. I'm going to use my flat nose pliers here for this because I want a square look for my jar. Just grab that end and bend and bend it again. Bending and you're just working your way around until you get the shape that you want. So it kind of created this diamond shape, which is what I was hoping for. And then I'm just going to lay it against my jar. So I have that look on one side. I'm going to repeat it with the other side as well, grabbing that end there and just keep twisting it, bending it down go out a little bit from that edge there and just keep working it till you're happy with where it lays on your jar and then bend it towards your jar a little and just play with play around with them so I have two different squares shapes now I'm going to take this piece here 
that back piece we did and we're going to bend it upward so it looks like that. Now you can do the same with the wire to the circle here. You're going to pinch it on the end and then just continually wrap like just keep bending it inward until you get that shape that you want where you want it and with this one I chose to have it up on the top really close to that piece there and you can go really elaborate with these you can connect them here with another piece of wire and I can show you how that's done let me just grab my wire so I'm gonna show you with the 26 gauge wire and this is an embroidery holder. I take my wire off so that I can see it better and wrap them around these embroidery holder, embroidery thread holders. So you can see it's really thin. So to lock these in place, go underneath it. And I'm going to go up really high again and then pull really tightly. Take that same tip, go back underneath both of them. So you're making sure you're under them. And then pull really tightly. And you want to continue to do this, making sure that you're going into this piece here and under that piece there. And then just make sure when you're doing it, you're pushing up against that piece there just so that you can have that fine edge. And you can use your wire, needle nose pliers to help you keep it in place. And you're, it's just like sewing. You're just gonna go back and forth with it Just like you were, you're kind of, ooh, knocked my thing there and apologize for that. So you can see here that it's already creating that. Just bunch them together as you're working to create that sewn look. So you can see how it looks there. And I've gone over that edge there just slightly, but I'm okay with that. See if it works this way. So you're just going to continue to work it that way. And all you're doing is creating that little gap covering and wiring the um, wire wrapping it. So just continue to slide it underneath it. and grabbing it, wrapping it over. And then when you get to where you would like it to be, just come in with your flush cutters. They are, these are a little ragged, but they work still. And then take your needle nose pliers or your finger and just push that edge down because you don't want to poke anybody with it. So that's what it would look like. And then you want to create that with the top as well. You're going to take that top piece, turn it, and wrap that as well. And get it go as high as you want to on yours. So just creating that thread thing throughout the whole thing. And you can do this with just about any project once you learn the connecting part okay so I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and snip that right there and then push it down okay so there is my finished jar has that little detail in the front there and put your cork back in there so this one has that little square look 
and then I have this one here with the circles but it's totally how much you want to do with your jar and how much you are comfortable with doing I'll grab that last one there and how well you want to decorate your jars thank you for watching have a great day and I'll see you in the next video